a short tale set in and in some sense having fun with the Jerusalem setting of the King James translation of the Bible, have fun with goofy characters and their depictions in a tale of Jerusalem. This one is a fun tale that is also satirical at its base, much like the past two Edgar Allan Poe stories we have covered, and it is also, as a result, similarly confusing, yielding the story a little bit better in retrospect, but hard to give a grade to. But I give A Tale of Jerusalem a 3 out of 5 rounded up. It's a little bit better than The Duc de l'Omelette, but not quite as good as Metzengerstein. This story is a rather short one. It is also a somewhat quick read, but almost a little bit longer than you might anticipate based off of its length, because it is a little bit confusing to read. The dialogue is quite well done, but written very archaically, and so is the narration. Like I said, somewhat akin to the King James Version of the Bible or other similar archaic versions of English written at the time. The story follows Jewish temple workers in Jerusalem under Roman occupation. These workers are due to purchase a sacrifice from the Romans directly, and a lot of the dialogue comes between these Jewish temple workers and their sort of bickering in some sense, but also the bickerings between them and the Romans themselves as they make petition to purchase a sacrifice. They let down money, the Romans accept the money, and then they go out to get a sacrifice for these workers. But they take a little while to return, and so the temple workers have to wait a while, complaining about their predicament, wondering if they're going to be ousted from their positions because of how long this temple sacrifice is taking. They experience mockery from the soldiers when they pay them the money in the first place, creating a fun, if kind of sad dynamic in between them. You can see like sort of aspects of hostility between these two parties. But once the soldiers do return with the sacrifice, it turns out to be a very large pig. Obviously, if you are well versed with the Bible or strong Jewish culture, this is a problem because Jews can't eat pork and depending on who you ask, some of them aren't even really allowed to touch it. As such, the sacrifice is a problem and is a further mockery to them from the soldiers as was their speech before they went out to get the sacrifice in the first place and so the temple workers are removed from their positions i think as a result of their duty with the sacrifice and all this other whatnot but not being fulfilled properly their pride in some essence becomes their fall after misplacing their trust in enemies the odd and absurd dialogue, as I said up before, and the humor inherent therein is somewhat hard to grasp, but when you do understand it and when you are able to grasp what it is saying, uh, it is entertaining, and it is also somewhat false information. There's plenty of inaccuracies in the text here, uh, rendering the text a little bit more satirical, or more obviously satirical as a result. The way this also plays with the satirical take on the setting with satirical characters is also just a really fun time. It's not a particularly great story, but I think most of that comes down to the fact that apparently most of the fun and the humor comes from it being based on a novel called Zilla, I think is how it's pronounced, Zilla, a novel by Horace Smith. Uh, similarly, some of the confusion apparently comes from not being familiar with that novel. I hadn't heard of it before, so maybe I should change that and check it out and reread A Tale of Jerusalem afterwards with a new perspective. It would certainly be interesting, but I found A Tale of Jerusalem to not be anything super meaty with anything to interpret a whole lot, so much as it is just a fun tale to read and kind of laugh at. It's a little bit of a more funny story and I'm not somebody who laughs out loud but this one made me chuckle once or twice. Next up on Short Story Sundays in just a couple of weeks on May 5th, I'll be covering a little bit of a longer story. This one I think many of you will appreciate and if you haven't read it before I think you'll enjoy reading it for the first time. That is going to be The Death of Ivan Ilyich by Leo Tolstoy. I hope to see you there.